back here at four. That's Adam Hadwin with his second shot. Trying to bring it in from right to left. Oh, yeah. Ho, oh, ho, ho. About these two. Clearly the two best I've seen from the same group all day long. Oh, it's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> four has been a nightmare. There's only been four birdies all day. Canadian is one under. Make that two. Just a shot back for Adam Hadwin. Adam Hadwin with a putt for an eagle here. Currently at two under par, so this would be for the solo lead. Oh, perfect line. But an easy birdie. And the Canadian will tie for the lead at three under par. And that is now four birdies in his last five holes. His second. Also laid pretty far back, a long iron to this difficult ninth, and what a beauty this is. Oh, my. He has got it going, Zing. That is going to be for five birdies. This to take the lead by himself. And that just catches the left edge. But it's in, and what a way to make the turn. His second lowest nine-hole score in a U.S. Open. Yeah, this is a little bit scary here. Muscles it up, but not quite enough. It's really kind of moist. Maybe not so much this afternoon. The wind's really picked up in the middle of the day here on these afternoon guys. But, uh, if you're short of this green, you can salvage par. What a four. Finished with a flurry of birdies to go out in four under 31, as you see there. And here is the leader at four under after a brilliant save at the 10th. At the short par 311. Doesn't like it. Sounded fat. It wasn't fat. But, oh, that's going to be a tough putt. Yeah, big swinger here. It's not going to go that much, but a good two putt. Good speed. Clean up. That first putt was 33 and a half feet. Good two putt from there. Adam Hadwin now the leader on the tee at 12. <laughs> oh, you can see how quickly that gets held up with that. Adam, along with caddy Joe Cruz, they're selecting a mid iron. Oh, yeah, a little quick on him. And he will be disappointed with that. It was a tough shot, but with a good lie, he might have wanted a little better than that. 34 year old Adam Hadwin from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Great name. Uh -huh. Oh, just curls that run behind it. David, that 12th hole is playing pretty tough today. Yeah, it sure is. And back into a huge tie at the top. And who had a pretty good U.S. Open record. Over to 13. Yeah, second shot for Hadlin on the way. A long one to 185 yards, so laid well back off the tee. That comes up short, but not bad. It's uh, uphill to the hole from there. As you said, Gary, well back 185, but left it in a good spot to putt from, just up the hill and moving to his right. I guess. I guess. Whoa. What a birdie for Adam Hadwin to get back to four under par and into the outright lead. 624 yard par five, the leader Hadwin. An anything can happen kind of par five. Well, there's a tree there that he just carried. Yep. But he flirted with it. 
totally blind, aiming at our tower at the right side of the green. Would be ideal. It's hard to get this green to hole. We saw Furyk chase through. There goes another one. Yeah, Zinger, they're just firming up and downwind. It's just taking off. And that is nestled down with the par 5 14th. Fourth shot for Hadwin. This is going to be a tough save. Yeah, that's a birdie chip right here. Oh, nice birdie chip. It's yep. going to be an easy par. I can't see the ball land here. 260 yards to reach the fairway. Absolute beast of a par four right now. Hard into right to left. Yeah, this is a monster. You can see just how far they've got to fly it over the rough here, and that's in perfect shape. Very controlled move at the left side of the green. Flag in the back right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with either of those two. As we head over to 15. Where the leader would be happy with two putts from here, I'm sure. But this is for birdie. And a beautiful lag putt. That's exactly what he was looking for. Stress-free par. And this is six iron zinger. This sounds like a lot with the way it's bouncing. It's got to come down soft. If it hits the green. Just so hard. Decent lie back. Uh, this is just one of those little stabby shots. You got a decent lie. There's no follow through to speak of here in the club face. Had one to stay the leader by himself at four under. Well done. DJ is in at two under. 17. Hadwin off the tee, and that looks to be a good one. Yep, and is. Nicely positioned. Let's go, Moose Jaw! Kind of an army wedge swing, not a lot of spin on it. Oh, no, beautiful. Needs some spin, yeah, and gets it just nice up on that top level, so well played. Swing wise. And as Mark says to me often, uh, this club is never really an issue. He is a very good putter. All right, so one hole left for Adam Hadwin. The par 4 18. Yes, Steve, hard left to right wind, aiming right at those bunkers down the left side and letting the wind cut it off that. Less than driver. And another beauty up the right center. Oh, how about that bounce? <laughs> well, oh, we yeah. haven't seen I mean, it. I did hit a sprinkler. If the sprinkler had good bounce, I haven't wow. seen a kick like that. And you get a little bit of a break now. Now he's got a wedge in here. He can control this. Great tempo on his wedges. Doesn't have a huge hit at the bottom. This is going to carry that bunker and this beautiful lead right under the hole. Sounds like he ought to be able to win a U.S. opener for from Moose Jaw. <laughs> Just ran out of speed. That was right on line. 66, though, on day one of a U.S. Open here at the Country Club. You will take that every time. Took advantage of the good breaks. Manufactured some great saves like he, like you have to when you're going to win this championship. Made some big par saves. That is a fabulous round of golf from Adam.